Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a really quick no makeup makeup tutorial. I think that this look is so easy to do if you guys aren't allowed to wear makeup to school or if you don't have time in the morning or if you just don't like wearing very much makeup but want kind of some new products to try out. This is probably the look for you. I absolutely love doing love doing this makeup when I really just can't be bothered doing a full face but I don't want to look like my natural self. It's just a very subtly improved version. I feel like it's not too obvious that you're wearing makeup. It's very low key and I enjoy it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Keep on watching if you want to see how I got this makeup look. Alright so first off I'm going to start by moisturizing my skin. I'm going to prime and prep my skin the same way that I would if I was going to do a full face of makeup just because I treat it no different. I want it to last all day and I don't want stuff to sink into my pores so I'm not going to change that just because I'm doing a no makeup makeup. So I'm starting off with my primer which is my favorite at the moment. It is the liquid face primer by Kmart. It's just a really liquidy kind of moisturizer texture primer. It's quite, it's got like a slight pink tint to it which is supposed to even out your skin. Can't say that I think that it does that but I really do love this product. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my Benefit Professional and I'm just going to pop this on the areas that have larger pores which for me is mostly around my nose. Just here and here and a little bit kind of in between my brows and on my chin. So my coverage today I'm actually going to be using a BB cream but regardless if you're doing a no makeup makeup look or not you can use whatever you want. Personally I use a luminous foundation sometimes but today I'm literally just going to the dentist and then I'm going to the gym so I'm probably going to wipe this all off anyway so I'm not going to waste foundation. If you wanted to use a foundation for this look I'd recommend something like the L'Oreal Lumi Magique foundation because this is really nice and dewy and quite natural looking in my opinion on the skin compared to some other foundations. Uh, the ZA one, this one here, the Skin Beauty Liquid Foundation, this one's amazing for a natural look also but I just like BB creams because they've got SPF, they've got everything all in one. This one is my favourite one that I've tried from the westernised BB cream lines, you know what I mean? Not, not the non-Asian ones basically. This is the Maybelline Dream Pure BB cream. I'm just going to get a little bit of that out. This is in light by the way. I'm kind of just working on evening out my skin tone with this. I don't really want to necessarily build up coverage. I'm just trying to create a more even canvas. So now I'm going to take a concealer. This one isn't actually meant for blemishes but I actually really like it for blemishes. It's lightweight and nice which is what I like when I'm doing this kind of thing. I want to have really nice lightweight makeup. So I'm taking my CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Foundation which I just dug with my fingernail. So that's, that's nice. And I'm taking, oh this is in 210 by the way, which is basically my skin tone which is why I can get away with using it for blemishes. Um, and my Round Top Blender Brush by EXO Beauty. First though I will attack my under eyes. I really like this concealer. Uh, I'm just trying new things at the moment. And what I'm doing is I'm basically just concealing like in a panda eye kind of thing all around here because as you can see it's just made a huge difference. I do obviously have a little bit of like makeup left over that's not necessarily discoloration. Um, that's just the fact that my makeup wouldn't come off last night which is nasty. I hate filming with like makeup still left on my face but. So it's already made me look like 5 billion times better. I look like much much more put together just by concealing my eyes and around my eyes. I am just going to take a tiny bit of that concealer I'm just going to pat that on top of the two massive whoppers on my forehead. I'm not going to go and do every single area of my face I just want to have a you know just a little bit more coverage in the areas that are really bothering me. If your entire face is bothering you feel free to cover your entire face you're just going to kind of lose that natural effect. Before I move on to the rest of my face I'm just going to go ahead and set my eye area because I'm not going to be putting any eyeshadows on top I want everything to be set and also my under eyes. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder and I'm just going to take it on an EXO Beauty eyeshadow blender which is my favorite brush you guys know this. I'm just going to dust this all around my eye. I'm going to take my posy tint. I really love cha cha tint as well but obviously most people don't flush orange. Don't know if anybody would flush orange. Doubtful. Um, but I flush this kind of colour. This is a really pretty kind of light pink tint so it looks very very natural on the skin and it's also just generally a really pretty colour. And I'm taking my Real Technique stippling brush. I'm just going to pick some of this up with the brush. You can just draw lines onto your face and blend. I just find that this is so much easier 
and it's literally foolproof. Like it's very very hard to do too much when you're just building up really light layers. So now that I've got that done, I'm pretty much finished with my face. Well, liquid wise. So now that I've got that done, you can see it is literally like probably the colour that I flush naturally. Uh, I really really like that effect. If you don't want to have it looking like you're just blushed, if you want to actually look like it's blush, pick like a little bit more of like an unnatural colour. Even just use like a pink, pinky brown colour, still natural, but not like actually what your skin would look like naturally. Uh, but you can do whatever you like. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply some powder. You don't have to use powder, but I want my makeup to last all day, so I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime. I'm just going to pop that all over my face. Now for a natural look, I know our skin does not naturally shimmer, but I love highlighting and I'll wear highlight regardless of what I'm doing. So I'm going to take my Shell Pearl highlighter, which has an eyelash stuck to the back. I'm just using my Shimmer Brush by XO Beauty. And I'm just going to take that up my cheekbones. So now that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and go through my brows with my Gimme Brow. Usually I would just do a full brow routine. I really don't care because I feel like I'm naked without my brows but since I've had the gimme brow I feel like it actually makes a really good difference um, in terms of like creating a nice brow without much effort and it still looks pretty natural in my opinion. If you look between the two it definitely looks a lot better there than it does there. So that my brows are on I'm feeling a little bit more like myself in terms of makeup so we're just going to finish off pretty much the whole entire face. The last two steps are to apply some mascara. I'm just going to be applying it to my top lashes. I'm still going to go all out on the mascara. Mascara for me is go hard or go home. I don't ever just go really lightly and gently. I just go hard or I don't bother doing it at all. So I'm just going to go all out with the mascara like I normally would. So now that I've got that, for lips I always try to do something that's really low maintenance because on a day like this where I'm not wearing any makeup, I'm obviously not going to be touching up, I'm not going to be looking myself in a mirror. This is like my quick go-to no makeup makeup, I don't care about my appearance pretty much for the day so I don't want to have a lipstick that I have to keep reapplying or wiping off of my teeth. So you can go ahead and wear like a My Lips But Better colour or a nude or a brown or something like that but I personally just go with either a colour tattoo by Maybelline because those go on like butter, they fade evenly or I go for a clear gloss. And the gloss that I'm going to be using is Melting Marshmallow by Philosophy. I really really like this gloss. It's just a clear gloss with the tiniest little bit of shine. I didn't mean shine, I meant shimmer. So this is it here on. It's just a really thin, delicious smelling gloss and it's very very shiny. So that's it for my no makeup makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really really love doing makeup like this on days when I just want to look a little bit more presentable when I'm going out in public. Uh, if I don't feel like doing a full face of makeup, this is very lightweight on the skin. It feels like I've got nothing on, but I just look that little bit more alive. Thanks again. If you have any more requests, feel free to post them down below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed.